Welcome to today's five minute Bible study. We are beginning a new study today, Reflections on the Season of Advent. We have now begun the Advent season. We are moving toward Christmas Day. And in this season, I, I want to spend some time just reflecting on what it means and how we move through the season of Advent and prepare ourselves for the holy day of Christmas. And I feel like I should say to you, Happy New Year, because in the Christian calendar, Advent is the beginning of the new year. You know, all of us operate by several different calendars, don't we? For instance, the civil calendar it says that January 1st is New Year's Day. And of course, we have great celebration at the beginning of the new year. Most of us, especially those with children, also operate by a school calendar. And so a new school year begins. It used to be in September. Now, it's, of course, in August. But that's when we begin a new year for the school calendar. But the Christian calendar, our religious calendar, the new year begins with the season of Advent. That's the start of the new year. And so we should be thinking of that in these days. Now, Advent is the four Sundays uh, and it's intervening weeks before Christmas Day. So we are now in that wonderful season. Now, what does Advent mean? Advent means coming, and it is a time when we prepare to celebrate the coming of Christ to save us. Therefore, the season of Advent is a season of great joy because we are anticipating, we are preparing to celebrate the arrival of the King, the King who came among us in human flesh, born in the manger in Bethlehem, God himself coming in flesh as a man that he might save us, that he might redeem us. The king is coming. I'm reminded of uh, the Psalms, book Psalm uh, number 24, where we are told by David, lift up your heads, O you gates, be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the King of glory. In this Advent season, we are thinking about the coming of the King who came among us in such a humble way in that manger in Bethlehem. And so in this season, we prepare our hearts for that wonderful celebration. One of the great Advent hymns that we love to sing is joy to the world. It is a time of joy, is it not? As we anticipate our celebration of the coming of the King. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. Heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. It is a time of great joy for us, for we are celebrating the coming of our Lord the Lord Almighty, the King of glory, who comes to save us. And our heart's prayer is that every soul will receive him as king. Now, I know there are many amongst us in our, in our world who have not yet received the king. They refuse to recognize. And we pray that in this season of Advent, as we move toward Christmas, we pray their eyes will be opened, their hearts will come to understanding, and they will receive Jesus as their king. They will let him enter their hearts by faith and know his salvation, that they too may know the joy we experience in worshiping, having faith in, and trusting the King. As we begin this season of Advent, this new year in the Christian calendar, our hearts are filled with anticipation, preparation, and joy, for the Lord is come. He rules the world with truth and grace, and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders and wonders of his love. Advent has begun. Our hearts rejoice. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Hope you have a great day today. I'll see you next time for our five-minute Bible study in Reflections on Advent. And in our next session, we'll talk about how we remember his coming by looking to the future. We'll talk about that next time. 
Have a great day. I'll see you for our next study.